let's look at graphing a rational function. For example, let's graph this function here. f of x is equal to x plus 2 divided by negative x minus 4. Now this is what we call a rational function. A rational function is a ratio of two polynomials. And to graph a rational function, we start by identifying any asymptotes. So let's begin with the vertical asymptotes. So we have f of x is equal to x plus 2 divided by negative x minus 4. First note that f is in simplest form. That is, the numerator and denominator do not have common factors. And a rational function in simplest form will have vertical asymptotes at the zeros of the denominator. Because as x approaches such zeros from either the left or right, then f will increase or decrease without bound. So here our denominator is this negative x minus 4. So the zeros of the denominator is x is equal to negative 4. So this is our vertical asymptote. All right, what about horizontal asymptotes? Now, a rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote. And remember that in order to determine whether or not it has one and what it is, we look at the degrees of the numerator and denominator. So we see here that the degree of our numerator is equal to 1, which is also the degree of the denominator. And when this is the case, then y equal the ratio of the leading coefficients is the horizontal asymptote. So what are those leading coefficients? Well, looking back over here, the leading coefficient in the numerator is 1, and the leading coefficient in the denominator is negative 1. That means y is equal to 1 divided by negative 1, or y is equal to negative 1 is the horizontal asymptote. So now that we have our asymptotes, let's find a few points on our graph on either side of this vertical asymptote here, this x equal to negative 4. So we have x and y. When x is equal to 0, we can plug 0 in up here. We get 0 plus 2, which is 2, divided by 0 minus 4, or 2 divided by negative 4, which is negative 1 half. So y would equal negative 1 half. When x is equal to negative 2, we get y is equal to negative 2 plus 2, which is 0, divided by negative negative 2, which is plus 2, minus 4, which is negative 2. And 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. And when x is equal to negative 5, we have y is equal to negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3, divided by negative negative 5, which is 5, minus 4, which is 1, so the ratio would be negative 3. And when x is equal to negative 6, we have y is equal to negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4, divided by negative negative 6, which is plus 6, minus 4, which is 2. So we have negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. And using all this information, we get our graph. This here is our vertical asymptote, x equal to negative 4. And notice, as x approaches negative 4 from the right-hand side, our function increases without bound. And as x approaches negative 4 from the left-hand side, our function decreases without bound. And this here is our horizontal asymptote, y is equal to negative 1. 
And notice as x increases without bound, and as x decreases without bound, our function starts to behave like this line. And here are our points. x equals 0, y equals negative 1 half. x equals negative 2, y equals 0. x equals negative 5, y equals negative 3 x equal negative 6, y equal negative 2. And this is how we graph a rational function. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.